Hallo, guten Abend und bleib drinnen. I can't read any of this. Let's go. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, I definitely totally haven't started. Why would I? Why would I have done that? That would be a weird thing to do. Anyway, I, I think I'm just not gonna say anything, and then I'll see if someone asks a question, and if they do, I'll answer. Okay, good. I was worrying I just straight up wasn't streaming. I'm already doing worse than yesterday, so... Looking forward to this. gay who are you gay why am i gay what <laughs> you don't have to answer any of that because i don't know anyway eli how are you i enjoyed your stream last night thank you for the entertainment why are you ungaying my gay you have stamps is this sponsored by stamps i is why Oh, okay. Wait, are you into stamp collection now? Because that, I might be able to help with that. Ooh, cool. That does seem like your thing. It's art, but tiny. Oh my gosh, cat stamps. Amazing. I didn't even know you had cat stamps, but like on some personal level, I never thought you didn't have cat stamps. No, 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 no! <laughs> okay, this is funny. That was a spicy ending. Bitch. The Lifted Mansion. That's what that says. Don't even worry about it. I may or may not be practicing for uh, for Breath of the Bingo. <laughs>
I did briefly go on Breath of the Wild uh, while it was in German, and it was actually way more difficult than I thought, because all of the place names are different as well. So, like, I might have an instruction to go to X location, but my map does not say X location. It says, like, location in X and... or whatever. So that's fun. <laughs> wow, that's great. Have you seen the art of, like, um... snapping off the bottom of the female symbol and then, like, tying it to the top in a point? And being like, fuck you. I feel like we need to do that to this art. Oh! Oh, the bag is female, not four females. Okay, well that's that's different. I, I, I shouldn't try and disrespect a bag's gender identity if that's something that's important to it. To her, sorry. I'm taking a gamble with streaming this because I'm just going off the assumption that Jojo will be late with food, which, no offense, that, 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 that's a fair assumption. Yeah, I've already, I think I did all right. Yesterday doing this, uh, I, I got an 8th, which wasn't hot, but I think my average is looking pretty good. I've got mean of 1.55, which is as good as I've done in a while. And yeah, it is a bit of a fair assumption. I, um, in, I, I don't think you'd mind me saying, but uh, for the PTSD, not PTSD, sorry, that's my thing, not his. Uh, um, for the ADHD thing, uh, it, it, it like, he put on there like has trouble with perception of time and i feel like that is worth highlighting and underlining about 50 times because that that that's noticeable <laughs> yeah i've been i've been kind of binge watching uh, videos on psychology today because it kind of only hit me today that like oh shit I've signed up for a psychology module next semester I'm probably going to have to know some psychology in order to do that it said it has no prerequisites but what it probably means by that is no prerequisites except for you know the entire first year um, which I didn't do so, I've somehow got to do all of first year psychology. I legit need to know nothing- really? That doesn't feel right. Like, I feel- I'm, I'm worried I'm gonna get in and then, like, the first thing they do is gonna be like, Right, well, we all know about the foundation of the Hema pumpkin face ball and how that affects every decision that every human has ever made. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna need you to do is write a 10 page essay on that and then we'll talk. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I won't be able to do that because I don't know what the human pumpkin brainstem is. Okay. I mean, I really hope you're right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off that assumption. I'm gonna continue over preparing anyway because I don't really have much else to do over the next two months because I don't think I got that job, considering it would start in three days. No, two days now. Module. Oh, uh, psychology of humor. Of course, I'm doing psychology of humor. I saw that it, I, I had 20 credits to spare that I could spend on whatever I wanted, uh, and I thought learning about comedy in an actual scientific context would be freaking awesome. I may never got, get that opportunity again, so... Okay. I, I like the sound of individual courses. I mean, I did, um... In a, in a meeting with my personal tutor when I was busy going insane a, a year or two ago, uh, she, like, she is the coordinator of a module that's like 
half Java and very Java based. And apparently some people get into that module without being able to like open IntelliJ, which is like the Java IDE that we all have to use and stuff. And or like have any perception of what Java is as a language. So that's good to know. When people did into uh, into calculated years in CompSci. They had to do a third year module. So it's doable. Okay. You've come to hate all IDEs. <laughs> yeah, that that seems pretty. You're not gonna lie. <laughs> no. Oh, hello, Julian. What is your favorite IDE? We're talking about IDEs now. We started talking about the psychology of humor, and now it's IDEs. Integrated development environments, by the way, Eli. Not that I assume you don't know that, but just in, in case you don't. Um, visual arse code. I like visual arse code. It has Catboy Obama on it. And I like it. Okay, I think I may have, um, I shouldn't have got Luke and Lillian to talk about ID. Okay, this is like, I think I've accidentally just set off a loop without an exit command, so you two have fun with this. I'm gonna play Kazaland. I think Visual Studio. Yeah, I use full Visual Studio code. Oh, I did have a bit of a real idea. Like, I, I've learned a lot about Alan Turing in the past year and generally few years while I've been doing computery stuff. Very cool, very influential, basically the father of the subject. And I just realized that Psychology is Turing. By the way, everyone loves Turing. Is Freud, who everyone hates with a fervent, angry passion. Like, ugh, suck it, psychology. We like our guy. Like, it feels like the more I learn in computer science, the more it's just kind of like, oh, yeah, no, he did like amazing stuff in like most of the fields of this very broad subject and I'm still f like hearing new things that I've never even heard the name of that he invented just sort of on the side and I guess Freud did the same thing it's just that all his shit was like wrong or annoying so people in, our in computer science are trying to prove Turing right and people in psychology are trying to prove Freud wrong and that's like a very big part of them. <laughs> what does it say about psychology that as a field it hates itself? I'm sorry, I haven't been reading chat for a hot minute. I'm guessing it's IDE stuff. If it hasn't been IDE stuff, it, someone please say. <laughs> oh yeah, Visual Studio does update a lot. That really bothers me. I don't want <laughs> you end up downgrading regularly. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, generally, I don't pay enough attention, so, like... Oh! <laughs> yeah, it feels like small enough things that I don't really notice. Three times a day? Okay, what is going on with... I don't know why I find it... Sorbet land! Oh! Is that where sorbet comes from? I just want to point out that we're 16 minutes into the stream and uh, no one has asked why it's German yet. <laughs> I don't 
don't think I'm going to snap you two out of that conversation. So if you're interested in why it's German, um, I think me and Eli are going to... Uh, oh my gosh! The computers have learned how to ID to IT. They've figured out how to turn themselves off and on again. IT specialists will be useless. Oh no! The robot apocalypse is real! Anyway, so my game is in German because uh, me and Eli are going to do Breath of the Bingo again at some point. And uh, basically because I won last time by no offense of fair way, I need some sort of handicap to bring me down. So I think if I just can't understand any of the words on the screen, that will probably make it about even. I did a tiny, tiny little bit of German at school, so I'm hoping that I will understand maybe like one in a hundred words, but I don't hold much hope for the other 99. Uh, yeah, and I went on Breath of the Wild earlier and discovered that all of the place names are also in a different language. So... Oh yeah, I've been trying to win Bomb, but I, I, I've only got like... Oh, yeah, like I figured you would be in English. Because I... to like... make it more even for me. Yeah. Because that's like a normal thing. If someone does well, then they get like a handicap. That's like a sports thing, I think. I don't know. Oh, Breath of the Wild modding does sound fun. Also, we haven't seen Owl House, but it is on the watch list. At the moment, we're going through Dragon Prince and Skyward Sword, which I think, Luke, you would argue are both very worthwhile things. Oh, a Metapod! Everyone, you gotta get that Metapod! Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, I've been getting frustrated with trying to mod Minecraft earlier. What was the second show? Skyward Sword. It's not a show, but it, it is like a house thing that we're getting through. We are currently, uh, we've just had the second Gear of Him fight, Luke, if you're wondering where we're at with that. And Dragon Prince, I've, I've seen Mirror Daddy, but I haven't heard Mirror Daddy. I think I'm on episode three, like halfway through, because I got, my legs started twitching and I needed to go to bed. Uh, so we're just like awkwardly halfway through an episode, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. The second temple. Okay. Right. You have a Minecraft skin? Eli, you got more skin? I'm so proud of you! Where did you get it? How did you get it? Whose skin is it? Where did you steal it from? Which dumpster? Oh, the big ball. Yeah. Yeah. I respect that. Is that the, um, the, like, you might have to be more specific with big balls there, because it could actually refer to a few things in, in, in Zelda. Yes, I completely agree with that. I think the motion controls, if you can get really into it, to me, feel quite intuitive as a sword and shield, but I don't use an actual sword and shield. I know I, I have encouraged my flatmates to... Uh, I, I've encouraged my flatmates to use it like an actual sword and shield, like one remote is the sword, one remote is the shield. Uh, however, they both do LARP, and, well, one of them does some LARP, and the other one does LARP, and he can get quite uh, into it, and has got a bit of a habit of destruction when in combat, so that's always fun to watch. Yeah, the Wii did, like... I mean, it feels like the controllers were actually designed for that game in my mind. Like, one of them is actually literally sword-shaped, and the other one... Yeah, not shield-shaped, but like... It's got the vibe. The wire didn't help it, though. Yes, it's not safe to sit on the same sofa as Jojo when he's playing Skyward Sword. 
in the second temple you have to ride oh yeah! right yes the big ball you have to walk over yeah that's really tedious in speed runs because uh, you have to kind of keep waiting and going slowly yeah Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry you go unnoticed, but like, I'm just glad he's really getting into the game. I think we have kind of... It's interesting how we play it, because, uh... So, I don't think this is spoilers for Gene, but there's areas 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so, as a household, we're each assigned to an area. Um, uh, I have the volcano, I really like Elden, and Eli has Farron Woods, and Jojo has... Uh, area number three and uh, we all play so differently uh, and we have such different pacing that it's kind of like we'll spend a, a reasonable amount of time in in the woods you know we don't go too fast we don't go too slow we kind of get on through it because Eli is quite fast but also hasn't played it before and then it's just like oh we're in the volcano now oh we've left the volcano now okay that was quick Dave what next and then the desert oh my goodness like ah it it's kind of it's so weird to play because he really does like appreciate all of the details like the design details and the and the little clues and bits of world building which i think really lends itself well to lenaru because that is i i think that's the most detailed in terms of the world because it's got this whole kind of you know the civilization of the place and everything. Yeah, it's very weird. It feels like we're playing three different games. And I don't know... I I don't know which experience is better for a first-time player. I think definitely not mine. Uh, because... <laughs> yeah, it is just kind of like, Oh, look, there's some things and lizards and whatever. Oh, never mind. Okay. I mean, I hope it's kind of interesting to watch, but I don't think so. <laughs> It's a, it's a little taste of speedrunning, but you don't really want to watch a speedrun for the first time watching a game. Yes, having to have the amiibo for fast travel is so annoyed. So annoyed. Yeah, they knew exactly what they were taking out of the game there. Yeah, because if you get the amiibo, you can go between any bird statue, like, immediately. You don't have to go back up into the sky and whatever, and I think that includes ones on the ground. So you can be like, you know, at, at the entrance of Farron Woods and then boop, 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 boop. Okay, now you're in the middle of Elden Volcano, yay! Oh, I want that. I really want that. But I also don't want to pay for an amiibo. Yes. Yeah, especially when you're trying to- if you leave the side quests to the end, then it's just kind of like, okay, cool, now I need to go here and grab this one thing and it's gonna take me like five minutes. Okay, now I need to do the same thing. <laughs> mm. We also have uh, notably different flying abilities. Jojo has gotten better, but like, oh my goodness, that first little thing where you, the flying test, where you have to get the bird statue, that was painful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jojo definitely did not find the directions intuitive. It was just kind of wildly moving around and hoping for the best. Eli actually got flying remarkably quickly. This is not an easy thing to do. Unless you've played, like, an ungodly amount of Wii Sports growing up, as I think we both did, Luke. It's really not simple. Yup! <laughs> we bought <sports> resort! <laughs> Great minds. Or minds who didn't have enough friends growing up. Uh... Vulcan Grollin. Yeah, we sports is. We sports resort is just training for Skyward Sword. I mean, I think with the release of the Motion Plus controllers, I think that is actually a thing. I, if I was about to say if they could remake any game for the Switch, I think Wii Sports Resort would be right up there for me. But that's a very big statement. 
we yeah, Wii Sports Resort is definitely one of the ones that I spent a long time on and really enjoyed. Especially just flying around. That was oh, that was amazing. I know it was unbelievably long, but just the concept of having to explore like every single nook and cranny on three different times of day as well. Just oh, amazing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I hope. I don't know if we did lose the save data for that at any point, but uh, if we did, I'll be slightly bummed because I, I know I got every single information point on all three times of day. That took a while. I think. Oh, I think I got all the balloons as well. Actually, that took even longer. Yeah, because uh, if you. Initially, all of the balloons are white, and then every time you pop a balloon, it will never be white again. It will always be like a color, like pink, yellow, whatever. So you have to try and get all of the white balloons, and that is much more difficult. Like, when I say balloons, I mean like literally balloons that me's are holding in their hands. seconds on that lately what is up with me oh that's annoying yeah Yeah, Luke, I don't know how to balloon launch yet, and you don't know how to balloon launch yet. So I think we should breath of a bingo against each other. I mean, if possible, it would be very cool. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be possible with me and Eli's uh, technical things that we own. I think we're probably just going to stream on our own individual channels. But I would love to do it so that it had like... Um, like, we both had our own displays with our game on, and then there was someone playing a kind of producer role, like... I, I would be happy to also play the producer role and sort back, into, between, uh, back and forth between them, but like, going between the map and uh, both of the games would be really cool. Technically, I think... I'm thinking five monitors is what we would need for that. Uh, yeah, so it would, you know, that would take some space. If only we knew somewhere where five monitors existed in a single room. Uh, but no, that might be a bit much to ask. Uh, I don't know if you would want to, if part of the fun of it for you would be, I, I mean, I'm going all, with all... I, I, I'm saying all of this with the assumption that you would be up for Breath of the Bingo. You may well not, and I respect that, but this is just kind of an if. I would want to play in English against you, though. Oh, okay, cool. I that, That's fine. You're allowed to food. Oh, I'm just... I'm not allowed to fall off though. Oh, I'm doing shit. <laughs> Assisting, not playing. That could be really cool. I mean, I know you do well with the technical side of these things. Did you miss anything? Good morning, Jean. How are you? And welcome to... Thing oh, that loaded really quickly. Uh, Sky Garden. I've only ever got first on- Wait, 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 wait. I've only ever got first on Sky Garden. Standard deviation with the- Huh. <laughs> I 
Vulcan Pista. Yes. Uh, well, I should have fallen off of that, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, it would be too much video rousing, but also food is good. It could be really good, though. Can you ever have too much video routing? I... Pff, let's find out! Uh, uh. I mean, that would be a lot of effort, but it could be worth it, maybe. I think it would probably be easier to have individual streams and then do it in post, which I'm tempted to ask Eli for the footage of, and then edit together that. Um, like, that would... Oh! Oh! No, not that toe! No! Gorefest! Pinky just got- became even more gory? Oh no, Eli, are you okay? And or, like, dumb? Oh, how? Why? I'm partially surprised you haven't, like, wrapped your entire foot in bubble wrap following that. No, Peach, die! <coughs> well... I really shouldn't have pointed out that I've only ever got first on that one. Oh, split and nail. Oh. That's, oh, little toe as well. That makes it worse somehow. Oh. <laughs> I don't enjoy any of that. I don't enjoy it. Be yeah, a mixed stream recorded live and individual streams would be amazing, but that that would be beyond my technical abilities for sure. Not that the copious amounts of video routing wouldn't be, but you know, I think I could vaguely sort of figure out an idea of how to do that. Although I would do it really basically, and I think I, that would only, like, that would be only one of us streaming it, probably me, no offense, Luke. I mean, if you also wanted to stream it on your channel so that we've got the whole thing of, like, we can have different people interacting with us as we play, that would need to be an extra element to, that would need to be that, but I feel like Eli has a very separate kind of fan base from mine generally, so we'd both have different people helping us and we kind of need to have our separate streams. A roll. I'm imagining a bread roll and if a bread roll made your foot bleed what are your feet made out of? Butter? You abandoned your- you abandoned your what? You think you have a single device that could do all of that, including streaming it? What? I can't even... Oh, like yoga. Yes, food time. We will discuss this when you are doing less food. I'm in 12th. I need to focus on this. If there is any course that I really need to focus on, it is this one. Because I have never come first on it. I don't think I have. Have I come first on it? I will find out very shortly. Don't look at the spreadsheet now. Play the fucking game. shell intent that is rude oh i have come first on that one that's really rude game i shouldn't have 
That's rude. By the way, I added a ton of new soundtracks to um to the loading thing. I added the entire Mario Kart 8 sound not Mario Kart, Mario Party 8 soundtrack and the entire uh Super Mario 3D World soundtrack. My Mario Party 8 videos have been doing like weirdly well on my second channel. Like, most of my videos get between zero and two views max, and all of a sudden I'm just getting like a hundred views on stuff, because it's Mario Party 8, apparently the internet needs more Mario Party 8 content, which I am more than happy to provide. I have many, many fond memories of being sat in front of the TV in front of a 50 round Mario Party 8 game, and just spending my day doing that like a cool kid. So apparently those skills are being put to good use. I'm pretty sure I can lightly hear the soothing timbre of Dan Avidan below my floor. I'm gonna guess means Jojo hasn't started on food yet. <laughs> Again, I understand why ADHD is a thing and it's difficult and I respect that, but I... <laughs> it's not 100% uncommon for me now to just like go to bed without food. There's something. I just... we have very different times and sleep schedules. I mean, I'm streaming now, and I don't know how long I'll be streaming for, so, like, it's probably fine. I haven't given him a time window either today. Oh, shit! Oh, this is the last lap! Fuck. It's fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe when I've finished, um, this set of races, and I only have the last eight to go. A reminder, I'll I'll text him when that happened happens. Not text. You know, information. Send a, t a message that is text based. Yeah, that's true. That felt close. I was weirdly tense through all of that. <laughs> I am trash at Superbell Subway. Like, really trash.
Oh, I did have a moment the other day. I was like, why is this game lagging? And why is my laptop so hot? What What's going on? It, it would have helped if my fan was turned on. <laughs> Oh, a little smug there because of the ink at the end everyone else kind of started veering off course but i know these courses so well at this point that i don't even need to be able to see properly i do need to be able to see a little bit as that one or two one stream well oh i should probably stream mario kart blindfolded and sober at some point as a kind of control variable my feelings oh no uh, oh, my feelings are that more people needed to appreciate the fact that in that one sketch where Bill Hader was playing a British documentary maker uh, talking about New York and talking about Fred Arms and Sing he gave an example of bands that had played at this really shitty like one space and it was called Science Finger and the band was comprised of four Will Fortes. It was four Fortes. And that's one of the best jokes they've ever made. And no one laughed. And everyone needed to appreciate that as the absolute gold that it was. Like, if I had to pick any still image to describe that entire era of Saturday Night Live, it would be that one fake poster. Because it was art. I'm tired of pretending it's not. Anyway, I need to hydrate. Um, oh, tape. Tapey, tapey, tape. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> I can't get the tape off. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> well, without enough feelings for you, I'll do the two honks now. Honk, honk. Ah, no. Oh no. Okay, this is fine. 
<laughs> there I am. Looking like an egg. Lovely. I've got my bottle of wine here. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Drink time. Hell yeah. Okay. We got Dave Fight Fishman over here. Right. From a bottle. Well, yeah, but it is a wine bottle. I don't know if I'm feeling okay. I just grabbed the first thing that I saw in the kitchen that I was like, I think that contains liquid. Tell me what I shouldn't have done earlier. And that's eat an entire six pack of hula hoops in one sitting. I really, I do regret that. And also an entire packet of fizzy laces and uh, approximately three quarters of a carrot cake. And that wasn't even like lunch or breakfast or anything, that was just like something I did between meals. So like if I do go to bed without eating today, that's probably a good thing, because it's not like I haven't eaten. I, I have eaten so much trash. Like how did I- I did not mean to eat three quarters of a carrot cake, but alas. Yeah, trash is just all I needed. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. Yeah, I mean, if you've got cake, then you're gonna eat the cake. Like, that's just how it works. It's, it's a good time. Won't have helped me. That was awful. Wow. I I don't really watch SNL. I don't really watch anything anymore. Other than always sunny all the time. It's always always sunny. Yeah. I, I don't know, I've just sort of not been TVing as much. That's bad. Oh, this is the end! Right. Hey -o. It's the end! I got 638. 
I'm not doing good. Okay, um, so how is that looking so far? 89 on normal scoring. That, yeah, that's not hot. That's not hot. If it was properly 69, I'd be happy. At least that's reasonably nice. Uh, but a mean of 1.85. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do well now. Um. Okay. This is fine. We can do this. I'm gonna have a little look at the... The graphs. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> what happened last week? Oh no. Oh, Millie happened. Right. I understand now. <laughs> not my worst in terms of not firsts, but uh... <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That's real bad. Okay. No, not six. Oh, and I need to... Uh... I need to choose them. Um... Yeah, sure. Okay, so... What do I have to do? Um... Mario Kart Stadium. I'll do that, and if it automatically puts me on to... Uh... Water park. I'll know I chose wrong. <laughs> Yesterday you watched something like eight hours of a show in the evening, didn't really do anything. Else. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, it is good to do other things. Like, I've been doing Duolingo stuff lately. And, like, not that, I don't know, brands, life is weird, but, like, you know. Languages are neat and doing like coding projects for uni and yeah. yeah. I don't know, it's neat. Oh, and society things. Like, thinking you're in fact in- Oh yeah, Taskmaster's been taking up the majority of my time. I haven't actually started uh, the recording of the Cursed Sandwich, because Eli, I was really hoping you would be in it, if possible. Um, I mean, you don't have to, of course, but even if you'd just help me with it a little bit, um, that would be fantastic. Woo! Yeah! Do you like- uh, Well, I know you- Oh, what happened there? I know you like honey at the moment, and this is like a honey peanut butter banana sandwich. Which kind of sounds up your street, to be honest. Maybe you're Elvis. Yeah, I think... <laughs> it doesn't have jam in it. Oh, and bacon, of course. Okay, one of two things is about to happen. I'm going to be angry, or it's going to take me to the course select screen. Yes! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you... Get me, Mario Kart! Contact adhesive? What is contact adhesive? Sticky, sticky, sticky. Oh, gl why? What, why did you cover your arm in glue? I'm guessing this is something to do with an axe. Hey. 
I don't know. I'm not gonna judge. Yeah, okay, something axe related. <laughs> Glue to axe, glue on me, oh no. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble deciphering that. happening you've just attached the axe to yourself right i understand now okay no more questions i i completely get that okay so the next one is melody motorway I don't know where that is. That's where it is. I don't know. Maybe you've just taken it to the next level and you're never gonna not be in LARP. I wouldn't even, like, that is, for this household, not something that would surprise me. exactly type a uh, response uh, but Jojo said that he's setting up for food when I asked if he started yet and has said I can delay it if you want me to no I want the opposite of that but I need to figure out some way of communicating that without stopping playing Mario Kart uh... thank you um no, start food. Food good. Yes, food. Yes, Dave Mario Kart. Can't talk, but want food. Hungry, almost finished stream. Yes, good. And then like 10 thumbs up emojis and then the eye lips eye thing. Perfect. Thank you, Eli. You you can understand me. You can translate me. It, we do often have to kind of translate each other for each other here. It's great. Like we get the vibes. I but I think we gave up on proper English a while ago. Tick-tock clock. Tick-tock clock. Tick-tock clock has a similar vibe to this. For the record, I have fatigue. I know, right? There are so many words that just sound absurd to me, and I don't even know why. 
I have no idea what music you're listening to. It could be anything on the planet. I love it too! It's just kind of like... It was the only language that I actually sort of got on with when I was at school. Because we had the first year, you did French and only French, and that was it. Deal with it. And then the second year, you did French and you were randomly assigned either German or Spanish. And then the plan was that you would continue for the next two years in either German or Spanish, and then you could choose one of the two for GCSE. But I don't know how to play Mario Kart. I I was in the German group, but then they like one of the German teachers left, I think, so they only had enough people to teach Spanish. So I did like I technically did three years of French, although I did not engage with any of it, and I did one year of German and one year of Spanish, but I did not understand French or Spanish. I didn't understand the structure of them, or like, the tone, or the voice, or any of it. I just really didn't get along with them, but German I just sort of, like, found pretty easy and fun. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, the main thing that I remember, like, there's one sentence that I remember, but it is of absolutely no use to me now. And you can tell I learnt it at school, because it's Ich bin zwölf Jahre alt, which is, I am 12 years old, which is no longer helpful, because I am not, I am 20, and I don't know what 20 is. I did not realize that three out of seven of your friends were just- That wasn't the final lap! <laughs> oh, 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 that was dumb of me. I didn't- I- I never knew you had seven friends! That's really impressive. You go, Eli! What is the context between, behind that? Is that just like a private school thing that there's like a lot of people from a different country? Because we, like almost everyone in my school, was born in Ludlow and was from Ludlow and remained in Ludlow. I probably shouldn't have said that place's name on the thing, but it's fine because I hate being there and I avoid it at all costs. That was a very stupid loss. I completely deserved that. Mute city! Boarding house. Boarding school. Is that different from a boarding school? I thought you learnt there. Did you live there? Where is the... What am I doing next? Mute city. Right. Right. I didn't- I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, it makes sense that that's a thing, but it's just not something that I've ever, like, thought about. Genuinely, my first reaction to that was, wait, 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 they're girl names. Why were you living with girls? I thought that they were strict about that kind of thing, and then I processed. Sometimes I forget I'm trans too. <laughs> I am really looking forward to the Umbrella Academy. I'm I'm so looking forward to see how they wrote Normal Man. Like, oh, that's the superhero that the trans men need, not gonna lie. Like, I, I, I appreciate and I love trans people on TV who are represented and they're just like all rainbows and high heels and living their best life. Like, yas queens and kings, you do your thing. We love a emperor, but 
I just want to see normal man who is trans, but is normal man. Uh, it's not even like a thing. Like, oh, I, I'm so looking forward to that. Like my ideal existence in my uh, like reasonably newfound masculinity is to occasionally have the confidence to go out in insane festival clothing covered in pink and rainbows and high heels and fabulousness. But like, I only want that maybe 2% of the time. The other 98%, I do want to just be normal man. Oh, he's... <laughs> he's called 2.5 apocalypses. Okay, I'm not even gonna read into that one, because what? But on another level, haven't we all? I'll hate Luther. I... I read that in an excited tone. Oh, okay. That... I figured out the excitement. I look forward to hating this person, I guess? Oh, my parents... I can't even believe, like... I only came out to them as trans, like, a couple years ago, and they're both, uh, rather Christian, shall we say, and I don't think it was good news to either of them, to say the least. And I really thought that, like, they would never call me my preferred name and my preferred pronouns, and I just thought they were gonna treat me as their little girl for the rest of my life, but on my birthday, they visited me, uh, where I live, and they pretty consistently referred to me as Dave and he him. My dad even corrected my mum at one point, uh, saying he, not she. And then the day after my birthday, they took me out to go shopping for men's clothes. And now I own, like, I, I have a pair of, like, normal men's jeans that we tried on, like, tons of different sizes. And they, like, it's, it's so difficult if you're... Uh, especially like a trans man because you've kind of got like a feminine figure but you want to wear men's clothes but if you wear normal men's jeans then it looks like skinny jeans so that just kind of makes you look and it, it's hard to find but basically we managed to find a pair that make me look properly masculine like all the way down and I'm so happy with that and they got me shirts and stuff as well and like oh oh and I have a pair of trousers that like the 10th doctor trousers which are great I was kind of hoping to wear 60s flats. <laughs> I mean, that is a vibe. That's kind of the problem that like all trousers look like 60s flares when I try them. Like I went round uh, charity shops looking for them for quite a while. And every time it was like skinny jeans on the thighs, 60s flares on the calves. And overall not a great vibe. Like, an interesting vibe, and a, a good festival one, but like, that is the 2% of the time that I want to be feminine and flamboyant. 98% of the time me just wants these jeans that I'm sat in now. Oh, and I did, I did purchase a dick. I, I own that now. Uh, I spent like a full day of my life potty training myself fairly recently, that was something. Uh, I actually got the hang of like 
pissing in a toilet with the seat up stood up though by the end of the day and by the way i didn't say but thank you for the excitement following the masculine stuff you like yeah that is awesome and i'm really happy with them well i mean i can give you a link to the t <laughs> to the tick i bought um it was 55 quid in the end which for a for a full for a full penis is you know reasonable uh, yeah, and that arrived the day after my parents left, so it was kind of like a little birthday present. Like, two days after I turned 20, my dick arrived in the mail. And if that's not a metaphor for growing up, I don't know what is. Ooh! Hell yeah! Yeah, it's it's sudden. It. <laughs> I don't wear it all the time because it kind of it, it wiggles out of place. It just doesn't help me all the time. Yeah, I can. It's um, it's not too big, <laughs> which was a concern of mine. Um. Yeah, it, it's great. It's it's definitely wiggly. I... <laughs> I feel like it's probably against Twitch's terms of service to just show my dick on, on stream. Yeah, it's not <laughs> Mr. Wiggles. Oh my gosh, I haven't given him a name yet, but I love Mr. Wiggles. That's a fantastic name. I feel like I'm going to appreciate that more when I do watch Mr. Wiggles. Is Mr. Wiggles a dick by any chance? He's a king. Oh yeah, that feels about right. Yeah. <laughs> king of demons! Oh. I feel like a king of demons could get behind a phallus. Oh yeah, I have text-to-speech now. Um, if you go to the sound alerts thing- Sorry, that was meant to be the entire point of this stream, and it's the last race, and I only just remembered. Um, yeah, if you go to sound alerts, there's a text-to-speech thing. D d do it. And you can say stuff like ass, I tried. Your boys- Oh, the boys are out! Gordon Alex. Oh, boo, you bitch! That's fair. I mean, I'm not intending on... I didn't hear it. What was that? <laughs> oh, that played so quietly. Okay, do 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 another... But I've turned off the game audio. Um, I'm so excited for this. The anticipation. Anticipation, please. I'm so tense. I never knew I could be this tense. Just watching Waluigi and his fat ass as he drives around the course for me. 109 points is not that great. It's not ideal at all. I feel like I should do some ASMR while I'm waiting. And I'm now just... Be gayer. My skin big air? What was that? <laughs> what does that mean? Big air? Okay, I'm gonna try a text speech because I'm just I need this right now. 
I'll be gayer. I thought I was German. <laughs> okay. My channel. Yes, I want my channel. I I'm aware that I'm streaming. Just give me the info. By the way, apparently the voice that I selected is gender. <laughs> Oh, I really need to make it more loud. What if I, what if I, what if I, ooh, I think I may have done something with filters. Okay. Ah! The filter, ah! Right, I know what I need to be doing. Sorry, this is now just you all helping me with tech support. Uh... Dummy mommy. a little louder <laughs> dummy mommy oh yeah it's also pink which i'm very happy with Be my little piss boy. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Pink sound alerts. We love to see it. Oh, it's such a good colour, though. It's such a good colour. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, so yeah. Um... Your message isn't allowed. Oh, and that's a bad miss. What was your message? <laughs> I'm gonna need to turn my speakers down because that is that is truly insane. Schwul, homosexual whale, manner, schwuler ich weiss nick. Was ich nach sagen soll, viel spaß. I didn't catch any of that. Fucking shit weren't permitted. Oh, but I got pissing. Ah, I'm not allowed cunt. That's a shame. Okay, but for, the, for future reference, not that this affects anyone else, but I need to remove the filters from desktop audio if I want it to be actually audible, because otherwise it will respond to my voice and go quieter when I'm talking, but I talk quite a lot because I'm annoying like that, so I need to just turn that off and let it do its thing. German piss boy. Ah! Fuck <laughs> Eli. <laughs> I'm allowed a German piss boy. <laughs> You're not allowed a German piss boy. Uh, I never know who's in chat. There could be an actual German person. This is fine. Uh, oh! Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, that's basically the same thing. Um. Position sorted. What's going on in position sorted? I, I suck ass at Superbell Subway. Uh, and I don't suck ass at DK Jungle, except for that one time when I did... Um, Moo Moo Meadows I, I've been pretty hot at lately. That's cool. I'm glad Sherbetland is up there, because I, I know I've talked about how much I like that. Yeah, y'all didn't see uh, Wild Woods I messed up on pretty bad. Uh, that This will be part of the... Uh, so I, I did the first half of this by myself. Uh, without commentary or anything, and I'm gonna like stick that together with this half in Blender and upload it as one thing. Uh, and I think that's how I'm probably gonna do all Mario Kart streams from now on, because I just don't have the stamina to be streaming for like three hours uh, just playing Mario Kart. Kleiner P I S Young. What was that? By the way, can can you all hear them now? <laughs> because I hope so, but I don't really know what else I can do. What was that? Is it, would you be comfortable typing that out? I mean, I hope so, considering it was just said on my stream. It's a little worse, but at least after last week, anything would have been good. 
39 is gonna be Millie's number forever. She's she's one of the more chaotic humans I've met. Kleiner piss younger. <laughs> Rectal prolapse. <laughs> said anything on the stream and then it's just rectal prolapse <laughs> thank you for that rectal prolapse Luke. <laughs> um, okay uh point points oh i didn't count the points oh i should have counted the points ah tits i think i got the 653 that sounds vaguely familiar 570 that's awful uh, and that was the only week that i did well on the freaking... <sighs> life is cruel life is nothing but a cruel and meaningless mush of nightmares uh i shouldn't end on that but i feel like i might Druk. yeah let's end on that I might, uh, streaming again. I don't know what my next stream will be. I feel like because we did Breath of the Bingo on a Friday last time, if you're free this Friday, that would be a very cool thing to do, Eli. Um, if that's not happening, then I might try and stream Professor Layton on Thursday? Maybe? I miss, I miss Professor Layton. He's a good boy. It's a good time. Yeah. Kill. Cool. Bye.